What's up guys to another video. I am so sorry for uh, the music uh, and the audio last time. It was a little, uh, you know, the music was a little too loud, but I'm making part two soon. Um, we are going over the city that I built. It's called My Worldwide Cities. I'm not done with one of my cities called Unit, uh, Units. I got five, six cities. I got Units. I got uh, Dirksville, Cordline. Uh, I got Remind. I got uh, Gorgetown. And I got Boots. Uh, those are the towns that I got. Uh, so let's just dive right in. I am, uh, I'm just going to get my safety code real quick. But, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you can't hear me, but thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Alright, let's get right into this. So it's called My Worldwide City. So I started this, I would say probably either in January or February or uh, December. But I started this and uh, it became a hobby for me. I'm trying to build uh, counties. Probably go as far as states maybe even as far as countries but uh we are just building a city right now and seeing what it what it could be and what it can be uh so let's just get right in. let's go all right as you can see i'm just building uh i want to go to the core line and show you uh all the towns. All right. Uh, don't mind the. It takes a lot to load the, uh, this stuff. You're seeing a little bit of Gore's Town. I'm not going to show show you every single building, or this thing would be like an hour long. But maps and history and more. So this is the uh, all the cities for now. Uh, over here you see is, uh, units, but I'm continuing to build that. Oh, right, where you see right here, till the houses stop and the building stop, is Blooms. The population is 152 villagers. That's how much pe people live in Blooms. We got Dirksville. This whole island is Dirksville. And this island contains 64 people. Um, we got Bob's Field right there. We got Remind, population of 34, I believe. And then uh, we uh, got Cordline, which is by far probably the biggest city. We got Beach, we got Basketball Court, we got Soccer Field, but this is a population also of 152. We got Gore's Town, and that's a population of 40, I believe. And so this is my cities, but we're going to take them out for a spin. So... Uh, I have a mod, I will let you guys know in the next um, video what it's called, but it has a bunch of cars, so uh, if it gets laggy, don't mind the lag, uh, my world is just laggy like that, but you grab a saddle, you place one of the cars down, any color, well you can't really pick any color, but it's randomized. So, uh, this is bat the first Baptist Church record line. There's a restaurant, there's a barber shop, and a dance studio. But I'm going to show you the main attractions of our city. Don't mind the lag, like I said. There's villages on villagers in here living in the city. But uh, this is First Pentecostal Church. I, like in my last video, it's First Pentecostal Church, but this is a whole different world. This is First Pentecostal Church of Cordline, and so, well, First uh, United Pentecostal Church. But this is uh, what it looks like on the upstairs. 
and we have a Sunday school room down here just behind the barbershop and dance studio and this is where all of our children go to worship and to experience the presence of God uh, and now I'm going to show you what I like to call it, the fun zone uh, and if you're wondering do all the buildings have interior yes they do they all have inter interior uh, so this is the beach it's a pretty nice beach if you're wondering why I use why isn't a string um, I don't know why that's floating but um, this is the beach this is one of the fishing shops where they collect fish for fish and they collect fish and they store fish and they send out fish but this is the basketball court it's just half because our, the almost the whole entire thing contains um, the soccer field and I can see the llamas or the goal with its whole body but uh, we got another fishing shop uh, we got work for all building and that's just where villagers work and stuff uh, this is the uh, car store uh, I, I believe it's cars at Cordline that's what it's called uh, we got another Pentecostal building, United Pentecostal Church, that's what it's called. Uh, we got a parking lot over here, not really too, too much to see, but if you go to Dirksville, they'll send you over here the cord line, or the, um, by your car. Here's Dollar General, if you're wondering, is there stuff in the barrels? Yes. Um, here's a, another restaurant. Here, down in, uh, cord line you get some lag because of how much people are in one area 15 houses per person but this is counter one counter two we got beef we got cake you it can also go all the way back here we got clocks not too much clocks in stock but we got soup we got oh sorry villager we got water buckets just stuff like that uh, so that pretty much contains cord line, cord line itself. There is one more thing. There we got the basketball court and the soccer um, field is counted as parts. But this is one of our main parts, as you saw on the map. Um, this is where the villagers can just settle down and look at our pretty masterpiece and they settle down from all their worries. Isn't that right, guys? In the back of the building working which I don't know how on God's heavenly green earth but uh, that's contains cord line if you're wondering oh is there more yes there's more but all the houses pretty much look the same there is 10 houses I believe uh, but that contains cord line so now we're going to go over to Gorestown and Gorestown has hardly anything but it's only had it's famous for its McDonald's. That's the only reason why it's on the map. But it has two churches. It has zero stores, two restaurants, zero markets, one hotel, zero motels, zero parks, and a population of 40. So uh, as you come over here, this is First Baptist Church of Gores. And as this is like a missionary Baptist church, as they believe in the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. They just baptized in that. Like I said, um, anybody can receive the Holy Ghost in my last video, and anybody can receive repentance, and anybody can receive baptism. It doesn't matter what belief, you can go to heaven. It's just I added these churches um, because, I mean, you can't just have one certain church, one certain religion. So we have uh, First Catholic uh, Saturday Mass is at 12 p.m., uh, Sunday 10 a.m. and Friday 12 p.m. If you're wondering what a Saturday Mass is, it's like kind of like just daily communion. Well, communion, that's pretty much what it's called. But let's head into the church. We just got two crosses. We got the Bible. We got the beautiful windows. And we got our villager that likes to wash invisible clothes but we got a bishop's outfit and a minister's outfit so that's good 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 
Um, we got, this is supposed to be Jim's diner, but we could not make a Y, and I forgot to make an S, so it's just Jim Diner, but it's really Jim's Diner. So, if you walk in, you just, um, walk in, you just, it's kind of like a house feel, I don't know why there's a hole in the wall. Must have been a tornado struck through here, I mean, I don't know. I did watch this during a blizzard while I was watching blizzards, so that's probably why. But we got a cash register. This is where they put their um, cash in. You got your food, where you put your food in, your sink, your ordinary stuff. And so that's pretty much contains Jim's Diner. And we got McDonald's. Finally, the thing that the thing that makes Gorestown is McDonald's. So you would order your food here, they put it in here, and they'll give it to you out here. And, uh, and if you're wondering, is that really all McDonald's? No, we don't have a drive-thru, but we have an outdoor seating because a lot of people like to come to our McDonald's. And a lot of people like to eat our McDonald's. So that's that. But that's pretty much contains Gore's Town. You trust me, you do not want to go. Uh, in that hotel there is villagers upon villagers in there but you enter the interstate and no i haven't i'm just recording a youtube video don't mind him that's my little brother but uh there's blooms and there's units six miles away they continue to go forward or we can exit so I'm just going to go to, uh, you, you, well, we already saw you, so let's, just, we, so let's just go to the exit there. So, you would go to the exit, and it's not like any ordinary exit. It, this exit takes a while. When I mean a while, I mean a while. So, you'll come down here, it'll tell you to scoot over a little bit, and we have made it to Blooms. Finally. So that's our mo that's the motel. Oh. How did this guy get in? Well, we're gonna have to drive back. He is I would normally kill the villager, but in front of YouTube that doesn't really seem so concerned about the, all the kids. So I'm just gonna go over back here. Back to um This is ordinary. Well, there goes one building. There's 10 markets, but there's really only six, so the city pretty much lies to you. There's three, ho two hotels. This is the two-room hotel, and like it says, there's only two rooms. But there's the motel. There's where they work. Nothing very special. Um, there is eight people can fit per house, and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, twelve, thirteen houses. And so, there's the Dollar General, just really the same as any old Dollar General. There is an upstairs to these houses. It contain four people upstairs, four people downstairs. There is a fishing shop that's ten times better than, um, what do you call it, cord wine. But, um, here is Bloom's music. So, oh, and all this lag is really punching holes in here. But we got the music store. Uh, 
we got all these, and we got uh, fruit the, to the restaurant. We serve fruit, but not all of it's really fruit, so most of it's vegetables. Zoo of Blooms, and this is the main attraction. Uh, this is Blooms in, in uh, the mission the, uh, to how much it uh, how expensive is it to get in? Uh, Twelve and under is five dollars. Thirteen plus is ten. But uh, we got llamas. We got sheep and cows. We got uh, pandas. We got chickens. So we got foxes, donkeys, mules, goats, horses, uh, panda bears. Yeah, you got that right. Panda bears. I'm guessing they made their own little uh, pond, and we got bees. And that uh, here at the Zoo of Blooms, you can find that a lot. Here's the hotel. It has two stories. Contains probably most of Bloom's population, and that's pretty much it. Units is over there, as you saw in the beginning. But if you ha didn't see in the beginning, this is what happens when you go to Bloom's. The uh, Gore's Town is three miles that way. Cord Line is seven. Hotels two. Restaurants one. Churches three. And stores four. Uh, we got so far five houses built. One house game ready to be built. There's my little delivery truck over there. Uh, as you go forward from that highway, you can run into units, and then units will send you out of the county. Uh, and also, uh, if you have a county name, I would say go to um go down t to the comments and below but i don't have instagram i don't have facebook i don't have any of that stuff but i'll figure out how to get the comments working so i think i'm gonna call it something i'm not so sure but i'll leave it to you guys but i'm building 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 and building. this took a long time to build so if you're wanting to build this just leave a like if we get a hundred likes i repeat if we get a hundred likes then we will do um reviews on how i built all these houses how i built all this stuff but i think i'm gonna end the video there it's getting kind of long thank you guys so much for joining us this video we will make sure to make a part two thank you so much for watching my video and as i say god may bless you